Hello everyone. In this video, uh, we'll be looking into our model architecture and uh, our model configuration. And uh, I'll be showing you like which model I'm gonna use. So uh, here, first of all, what you need to do. Uh, so here we have our data.yml file. So first of all, we need to change our number of classes because uh, if you see, uh, so see, actually I'm, I, I will be using this YOLO V5S. Uh, so that is a yellow model like it's a small size model so that that's why its name is like yellow v5s and if you see uh, it is like uh, inside this uh, models okay so this is the configuration of our yellow uh, v5s so inside models we have this uh, yellow v5s model configuration so here if i show you see the number of classes is equal to 80 okay so we have to change that because uh, here we have like uh, six number of classes, but uh, it was trained on the Coco data set. So I think you are already familiar with the Coco. Coco has this 80 uh, number of classes. So that's why we have to uh, change this uh, number of classes. Okay, so for that, this is the code uh, you have to run. And uh, if I show you, so see, this is my number of classes. Uh, number of classes is equal to six. And now I'll, I'm reading my configuration file if you do cat so if you don't know cat is a linux command so if you just do cat uh, then you will get the model configuration so see this is the model configuration and uh, all the anchor box and uh, everything are there and uh, now i'm gonna change this uh yolo v5s i mean this uh file okay i will be changing this file and i'll be changing some of the parameters like number of classes depth multiple and width multiple okay so this is the code for that so if you want to change it in your Jupyter notebook, so you have to run this cell. And if you just run this cell right now, so see, this is my number of classes I have already passed. And uh, now if I do refresh, so see, uh, it has created another file called custom yellow v5s. Now if I open, so see, now it has changed the number of classes and some of the parameters. Okay, so that's how actually you have to change your uh, model uh, configuration uh <clears throat> what are the model uh you are trying to pick uh, picking up so what are the model you are trying to pick up okay so you have to change from here and if you want to know about like the model so wh what are the models are available so you just uh, click on this yellow v5 uh, their official github and here you can see all the models are available okay so see these are the models are available so you can use directly and here i am using that one like uh let me show you yellow v5s okay so that is the small size model and this is the medium size and uh, you have large size also okay uh, so yes you can use and make sure which model you are trying to picking up okay so just try to select that configuration so see all the configuration are there so try to pick up that configuration and try to edit that uh, i hope uh, you have get the idea like uh, how to change your configuration model configuration and uh, this yolo v5 is like it is quite easy okay you just have to run some line of code and it will do your job so in the next video uh, we'll be starting our training because all the things i think we have done we have prepared our data we have uh, configured our model and uh, the next task is like we will be starting the training and uh, then we'll be like you can say creating a model so in the next video let's start with the training example thank you